everybody, it is Saturday. That means it's time to imagine it again. You know what I'm thinking? That it's time to congratulate Chief Scientist here at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. Carl, this is your roundabout 500th science experiment on television. It is. It that is, is amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. A lot of fun. And I'm glad that I'm here to be with you. I'm guessing that we're doing something a little crazy today. We're doing something with a little fire. You know, it's summertime, people are outside grilling, they're mowing the lawn, they've got flammable things like gasoline paint thinner. Yeah. So I just want to talk a little bit about like how things can actually combust. So right there, there's a, a container of ethyl alcohol. If you could pour that into the tray. Okay. Let's go ahead and just like pour it in there. All right. And then I'm going to have you light it on fire. Oh boy. I'll yeah, yeah. Okay. So just. This is where I get nervous. So this is where most people get nervous, right? Uh -huh. Is because they have a liquid spill. It could be like gasoline. Ooh. Wow. It could be paint thinner. That is hot. Catches fire. You can feel the heat. Yeah. There really wasn't that much liquid in there, but it's you know it's really not the liquid you should be afraid of. What you should really be afraid of is what I have inside here. Okay. That, that'll burn off. Okay, are you sure? I'm yeah. getting a little warm. Yeah. Come, okay. come on over here. Okay. So what I have in here is a little bit of a really volatile liquid, kind of like paint thinner, but it's called hexane. Okay. And it's filling this entire container with flammable vapors. Oh, okay. Over here, I have a tiny little tea candle. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to pour these vapors into that container and see if we can get them to ignite. Okay. So... I get very nervous. That's okay. So we'll just... Then the liquid can't go in because of the shape of the container here. Uh huh. But if we give it enough time, Woo! those those invisible vapors will catch fire and Woo! ignite. Wow. Things you can't see. So if you're working okay. with paint thinner, and across the room there's a a pilot light on a yeah. stove or a spark from a motor, uh -huh. those vapors can travel across the room. And well, you know, in fact. I have a demonstration for that. Okay, Come on over so here. So this is why you said they always say ventilation is so important. Ventilation is important because it's the invisible vapors that are flammable that are so dangerous. Okay, by the way, I just noticed this. This is stressful to me. This is just <laughs> just, in case. Just, just in case. Just in case, so, okay. right? Just All in case, right. you know. And so uh -huh. fire extinguisher, yeah. acronym PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, sweep, and squeeze. Oh. Squeeze and sweep. Pass. pass. Okay, pass. So just in case. Just in case. Just Great. in case. So Famous over here, words. I've got a little model of what you were just talking about, where here I have a floor in the house that's kind of tilted. Okay. I've got a really volatile liquid here. I'm going to give this to you. There's not very much. It's a teeny tiny beaker. Oh, yeah. 10 it's, milliliters. Tiny. It's probably not even about, half full. It's like five yeah, milliliters. Yeah, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pour that liquid into this trough. Don't do it yet. Okay. It, the, vape, the liquid's going to go down about halfway, but the vapors are going to continue to tumble down towards this pilot light I have back here. Okay. The vapors will probably ignite. And this is a balloon filled with hydrogen gas. This might represent you standing next to the liquid spill. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour that liquid in. Okay, Start now. right here. Just okay, dump, right here. dump the whole thing in. Okay. And then, okay, now let's get away. Okay, okay. Okay, so the liquid's going down, but the vapors are tumbling. Oh, wow. Woo! They reignite. Wow. Flash back to the big and liquid spill. And look at, look at, in that beaker just for a tiny second. Did it catch? Yes, it did catch. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Because we still had vapors in there, get that fireball here and it can ignite. So, so that could be your home. That could, I mean, this is this is a serious thing. That could be your a house fire immediately. Well, if you're filling up your lawnmower with gasoline and you yeah. spill it, you're probably cleaning up the liquid spill, uh -huh. not thinking about the vapors that are traveling across the garage towards a motor okay. spark. So you need to give like that, that some time then and then some air to keep it open. Ventilation. Yep. Ventilation and pass. <laughs> That's your science lesson for today. Hey, Carl, thanks for scaring me a little bit, sure. keeping me on my toes. And congratulations. <laughs> on Thank the you. 500th TV episode. We're so happy to have you here on 13 Thanks. ABC. Absolutely. Thanks for watching and that's how you imagine it.